Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back. We're back with Doja Kitty, Miss Doja Cat, Miss Scarlet. That album, the album Scarlet is here and I'm, I'm excited. I just uploaded my reaction to Agora Hill and I found out that that is an actual place in California. So I kind of hit the, hit the hammer, hammer on the nail, nail on the head, whatever the saying is, I did that. I did that, but go check out that reaction because it's a lot. That video is a lot and I've got a lot of thoughts, so go check that out. And while you check that out, head over to Patreon. It's the first link down below. This video is going up uncut, unedited. Every second of footage is up on Patreon with no edits. So you get the raw, authentic me. And here on YouTube, I will have to cut this, crop this, edit this. So I will cut out a large portion. It's only going to be a little short trailer moment here on YouTube. So if you want the full experience, go over to Patreon. Also, don't forget to check out Instagram. It's linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, do all the YouTube things because this is just the start of Doja. We might get into Doja's past albums, little discography moment. We're currently going through Ash Nico's discography. I want to do Nikki's discography. And if y'all really want Doja's discography, let me know down below. The more comments telling me to do it, the more likely I will and the sooner I will. We've covered Doja on the channel. So go check out pa Paint The Town Red and all the other ones from this album we've covered. For now, let's jump into it. Let's jump into Scarlet, the album. Cut it, I'm a sheep, I'm a cash cow. That was Paint The Town Red and Demons. We've covered those. For now, we're gonna check out the track list and claim, what are our claim tracks? The next one is Wet Vagina, 97, Skull and Bones. Those are my three claim tracks. Skull and Bones, of course, because I love the whole skull aesthetic. You all know I want a skull tattooed on the back, just below my neck. You all know I want that. And also, 97 is odd. Why 97? I want to know why. Is that the year of birth? I don't know. And Wet Vagina, I mentioned this before, it's given nasty and I'm curious. Let's get into that one. Let's get into track three, Wet Vagina. It's got that beat that is hypnotizing and draws me in. Doja. Doja. I see a lot of long lines at the venue. Doja, you be hating on fans, those lines are going to be short. Just got to point that out. Also, this one, I love the melody. The melody in this one, the cadence, it's giving. It's giving and I'm obsessed. Vagina. Why? I was going to question, why is it giving instrumental? Acoustic banjo. And then she just shout fuck the girls. Okay. <laughs> this one. I love the chanting. I love the bouncy beat is back. I love that. But I can't make out what she's saying. The lyrics, how she the diction on how she's saying it isn't coming through clear enough for me to pick up. It's given hip hop. That's what it's given. Let's let's go. Let's go with this beat. Bring it. Bring the beat back. Bring my mood up. Bring it. Doja. Give me something I can shimmy to or I can little shake to. Oh, well, that's gonna start round one fight. So we are, we are swinging punches. This is the flow I wanted. It's bouncy. It's given animation. That's what it is. But fun Chariz the charisma is there. That's what it is. The charisma is there. Hundred Billies, I'm the goat, no Eilish, Miss Billy Eilish getting a shout out. I feel like this one was too short. We need another minute, another 
another minute just to flavor it. It was just a bit of flavor more. We need that. We need that. <laughs> I like this one, I just don't get it. I don't get the lyrics. Am I missing something? This one's giving... Skip. This one is Can't Wait. Okay, we've got this soft tone. It's giving blues. Production. I don't know. Is it blues? I don't think it is. Her voice came in so good. Is this a love one? This is another one about you. I want to gush about you. Is this one about love or fantasizing or want to be, want to be, she want to be with someone? Is that what we're going at? Is that what we're going for? This production in the chorus, it's given. It makes me just want to move. It's dreamy. It's hypnotic. It's given space. It's given aliens. That's what's making me think of. It's making me think of aliens and UFOs. Doja. Serving vocal. Exhale, bitch. Exhale your lungs. You're singing to the heavens with these airy, high-pitched notes. I thought this was bars upon bars upon bars, but we're getting a little dibble-dabble of... And I will say a little bit of pop vocal, a little bit of airiness, and a little bit of fun runs. Doja be doing that. Hold that note, bitch. Hold that note. This animation. Doja, you carried the song from Planet Her. Ain't got no skeletons in my wardrobe. That's what she's going to say in my luxury wardrobe so it's bragging but it's also saying i got no skeletons i am me i'm authentic also skeletons and then having a song is it bones skull and bones coordination and we got this animated as the backing vocal is that scarlet is that scarlet is that the distinguishing difference between doja and scarlet we got that in Ag uh, Agora Hill. I just re remembered. I just remember Agora Hill's coming up. Well, on the track list, I think it was supposed to be after this one. There's a few after this one. The music video was showing the difference between Doja then and Doja now. This sonically is given that. This sonically hits that. That's a rating, that's engagement, I could use it. She know what she be doing. She know, she know how to play. She know. Doja starting off nasty on this one. Doja starting off with different position, busting. Doja, from me to you, please. Ride this beat. Ride this fucking beat. That line, that line, James Dean, let me in them jeans. The way she delivered that. Also, when anyone references James Dean, all I can think of. You got them James Dean, daydream, look in your eyes. And who is looking forward to Taylor's version of 1989? <laughs> <laughs> Not her blatantly saying, stick it up me. Doja. <laughs> Doja. So guys, this one, Love Life. That's... It's given R&B. Sensual. Is she gonna get, like, what's the word? Sexually... Liberated with this one. 
I love it when my life's like this. Not just love life, but loving life. Okay. I love it when my fans ain't mad. Don't make them mad, Doja. Tour, I know Doja's touring. I kind of want to go, but I don't know yet. Four minutes, Doja. I feel like after that first verse, we could have ended the song. If that was the first two minutes cut and had it as an outro, it would be a good closer. Just to show appreciation, just to make a short snappy and punch with the minion. But it's getting a little bit over, over, not overbearing, but overused. The meaning is very overused and it kind of becomes whitewashed. We know you appreciate things. We know we, you've listed some. You keep listing them. Okay. But is it necessary to have it on a four minute track? That's my point. It's been so long since I listened to Planet Her. So long. But this, I don't know, but it's given something from Planet Her. It just makes me instantly think of a track on it and I can't name it. I don't know. We have so many different layers throughout this album. It's going to take a few lessons for me to pack it together and kind of understand it more. This is too long, one's it? This, oh, oh, it's too long, one's it? Too long, winded Doja. I hear, I hear that clicking, that clapping. I hear that. Talented and I'm driven like you've never seen. That is true. She does push and see, she seems very work orientated, but she also has that fun side that makes it come across like she don't give a F. She don't give that fuck. And all the fucks are just packed in a bag and thrown away. So, Doja, make signal. I don't understand why the title's Skull and Bones. I like her melody or her cadence or whatever it is in this part where she's bouncing up and down with her vocals. I like that. Similar to the last one, halfway through, I kind of just have enough. I don't really know what else to say on this beat. We got the claps and clicks and the beat back, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Doja. You're missing something. We've listened to attention and I don't want to go back into that one because we've covered it on the channel. You all know my thoughts by now. I've referenced it enough in previous videos. I've called it out as well. So this one is the last one. Is it Balu? Balut? Balut? I don't know how to pronounce this word. If I've mispronounced it and it's wrong, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say it. I'm sure she might say it in the song and I might pick up how to pronounce it. For now, let's just see. Let's see how we're wrapping this up. I heard a man's voice, but before we do, before we do, I know this was released as a single or it was pre early release last week. I didn't listen to it. I kind of wanted to avoid it because so many singles were dropping that I I wish I did. I would have skipped it by now, but I kind of I'm glad I didn't. I think we've got five singles now on this album. Yes, it's a long album, but five singles and it's only being released today. We could have left this one until a few weeks time and then kind of announced it as a single with a visual or something. Or did that with Agora Hills, released that in a few weeks time, that music video, I don't know. For now, let's just hit play on this. Now we've got that blues sound again. That animated, wow. Oh, yeah. What the f*** did she mean? It's like taking candy from a baby. What? Doing this album is like easy work. Is that what she means? Is this a diss track? I don't know. It's like taking candy from a baby. Is she just trying to elevate herself and make what she does look easy? I feel like that's what we're getting at. Oh, I love how she held that fresh. 
Coke is a Coke is a crack is a math. What the fuck does she put in those hits? Her songs are addictive. She's referring to the pop music. That's what she's referring to. Those earworms say so. You're a real greedy bitch. She didn't need that back then. Now she's referring to that. Copy this, copy that. I love that. Copy cat and then the meow. It's giving Doja Cat. So guys, that was Doja Cat Scarlet. I'm going to rate this out of 10. I think that's fair. I think that's... You've heard my thoughts. You all know there's ups and downs and there's songs I won't gravitate to, songs I'll skip and songs that will grow on me. And that one, one, one song that I love, Gun, Gun, for me, is going to be on repeat. Yes, that's just my thoughts and that's just my opinion. Let me know yours down below. What do you think of the album? What's your favourite and least favourite track on the album? And do you want me to cover Doja Cat's discography? We can go back, Planet Her we've done, we can go back to a hot pink and then that first album we can do those if you really want me to just let me know down below and while you're down there don't forget to follow my patreon and instagram they're in the description check them out patreon's on the screen you all know over there there's plenty of exclusive videos there's uncut videos and this video is going up fully unedited so you get the full story the goods and the bads and everything in between it's over an hour long so go check that out and don't forget to subscribe like the video turn notifications on because we've got plenty more videos to come and i'll see you in the next one